Hi, welcome to Connect Learn. I'm Steve, and we're getting started with Python tools for Visual Studio. If you missed the previous video on setting up a project in Visual Studio, you can find the link for that down below. But now, let's look at how the Visual Studio editor will help you be a more productive Python developer. In our basic Python application, we don't start with any code, so let's write some. The first thing you'll usually want to do is import one of Python's great libraries. So let's start a from import statement. Now we have a full list of the modules that are available for import. This will vary based on your version of Python and which libraries you have installed. I'm going to import from math, so let's type that. You'll notice that the list of options is filtered down. Math is selected, but there are also options that look like math. You don't have to get the name exactly correct, and we'll show you things that are similar to what you've typed. When I finish this statement, I have a list of the members of math. I'll import the sine function. Later on, I may decide that I actually want to use the cosine function. Anywhere in your code you type a name that we recognize as belonging to one of your libraries, we'll give you this little smart tag, which you can click on to help you import the function. Now let's add a function. I can type it myself, or I can use a snippet to generate the code. If I go to Edit, IntelliSense, Insert Snippet from Python, I can choose def, and it will insert the function for me. I'll call my function make.string and give it one parameter x. In the spirit of test-driven development, I'm going to call it first and write some simple assertions. And you can see we already know the name of your function here. When I go back to the function and start writing the body, you'll see that we already know the type of x and can show you completions for it because of the calls below. Let's do some basic math. I'll import the radians function. And now I have my functions complete. I'll use another snippet to create a main block. This time I'll type the shortcut and just hit tab. And I'll write a basic loop to test out our function. When I call the function, after calling it, we can see that we know the return type of the function. And if I dot through, then we have suggested uh, completions for the string type. This type information will flow the whole way through your program. So no matter where you are and what variables you're passing around, we've tracked the types and we're able to give you suggestions at any point. Let's print out the string. And now when I hit F5, we start running and we can see the dot bouncing back and forth. Now we have the basic editing tools for Python in Visual Studio. If you'd like to go deeper, check out our recommended deep dive videos linked below. Or join me next time for Connect Learn.